Hey everybody, today we're going to talk a little bit about uh, philosophical assumptions. Um, the terms we're going to talk about today are terms you've heard before, but I wanted to take them and separate them from some of the other concepts that you're going to read about because they're actually the assumptions that drive all the choices that you're going to make as you conduct qualitative research. So um, another reason I wanted to kind of call these out and talk about them is because they're terms that when I first started reading about them I had a lot of questions about and they seemed very dense, uh, very philosophy laden and I wasn't really sure how that would inform the decisions I made. So let me see if I can break this down and, and make it a little bit easier. So philosophical assumptions and how do philosophical assumptions drive qualitative research because they actually drive every decision you make. So let's take a look at the next slide here. So notice that in this image here, these concepts aren't separate and actually one doesn't lead to the other, lead to the next, lead to the next. I thought a lot about uh, how, to, how to put this concept together, but I think that they're parts of a whole. So I'm starting with ontology, and if you see ontology is at the core, okay, and everything's going to emanate from that, kind of drive out. Uh, epistemology is the next circle, uh, axiology and methodology. So as we're going to look at, the, we're going to take these apart one by one, and we're going to look at the definitions and then see what part do they play in the choices that I'm making as a qualitative researcher. Okay? So let's look at ontology. So here are a couple of questions. What's the nature of reality? Okay? That's kind of a dense question, right? What is the nature of reality? What is reality? So in qualitative research, we acknowledge the, that there are multiple realities, okay? the existence of multiple realities. And that acknowledgement really forms the core, that root of all qualitative research. And, and that, that notion that there are multiple realities it, it, in opposed to one existing single reality, it drives then all the other things. It's going to guide and drive epistemology, axiology, and methodology. Okay. So the next level then, or the next ring on that on the circle, is epistemology. So, if we've got ontology, and that's that's the the nature of reality, epistemology is how do we know what we know? How do we know reality? How is reality made known? And if qualitative researchers think that ontology is is that the nature of reality is multiple realities. Well, then epistemology would be, what is the knowledge about those multiple realities? How do we know what we know? How do we make it known? So, qualitative researchers then act on that ontological stance of multiple realities, multiple realities by creating studies that allow participants to voice those multiple realities. So it's not just lumping everybody into a single reality, it's looking and teasing out all the multiple realities, all the perspectives, all the voices. Okay? Voices that might not get heard in a stance that recognizes a single reality. So the next step then, it's not really the next step, it just kind of drives out. The next step out from that is axiology. W what are values? What is value? Okay. Um, and we all have values, right? We all have values. There's nothing new about that. But what about values drives qualitative research? And how does that emanate then from the epistemology? So if we acknowledge in epistemology that multiple voices need to be heard, okay, and we need to listen to our participants okay, and all those multiple voices and how we know them, then we also acknowledge the value-laden nature of our work, okay, and understand that the researcher is the instrument. So I'm going to acknowledge when I do a, a, a qualitative study, I'm going to acknowledge my positionality, okay, and how that relates to the study I'm doing. Um, I'm going to acknowledge my biases, my positionality, and I'm not going to pretend to hide behind a, um, you know, white lab coat. 
I'm going to say this is these are the values. This this is the value. Um, this is a value laden research, and I am going to um, bring uh, the highest ethical stance I can to my research. Okay, methodology is probably a term you're really familiar with and you say well, why is that a philosophical assumption it doesn't even seem those are just the, those are just the choices you make right but in reality you got to put everything together so we've got ontology nature of reality epistemology how do we know that nature of reality or multiple realities axiology how do we treat those multiple realities in terms of values okay and ethics and then the next step is okay what about the process of qualitative research it starts with the ontology and it builds to the choices that we make okay? so the methodology moves the researcher from the abstract to the concrete and it's going to guide action but it's going to be consistent with the ontology the epistemology and the axiology okay? we're not going to make choices in methodology that violate those other elements ontology epistemology and axiology so when you make choices about methodology it's easy to say oh I'm going to look at one participant or I'm going to look at ten participants and I'm going to do this and I'm going to do this okay? but in crafting a qualitative study or crafting a qualitative research all of these things have to be consistent okay? all of these things then go back to the ontology epistemology and axiology you bring to the project hopefully that's helpful and if you have any questions, of course, I'm always available to, to either make things better or more confusing. Thanks a lot.